Good day, folks. I have here a Nokia Lumia 730 and we're running Windows 10 Insider Preview. So let's take a look at the operating system and how it looks and feels on a Nokia Lumia 730. So let's go ahead and unlock. Upon unlocking your phone, you'll be greeted by a much more sophisticated and much more modern looking stop menu. The tiles are not transparent. You can configure them to look transparent or opaque in the settings. And generally, I feel Windows 10 Mobile is far more customizable than the Windows Phone 8.1 counterpart. Another thing which is different on Windows 10 Mobile is the app drawer. So to reveal the app drawer, you slide in from the right hand side to your left hand side. And yeah, slightly different layout than Windows Phone 8.1, but yeah, it's more or less the same. Here's your, here's your search bar. And you, again, you tap on different alphabets to go directly to that name. So yeah, let's head over back to stop menu and another change in Windows 10 Mobile is the animations. So if I tap on a icon here, now you can see the animations are much more smoother and are much more smoother than Windows Phone 8.1. Oh, check this out. Here's a little icon which is hidden. Not sure if that, that's a bug or if that's sort of you know intended to do. So yeah, Windows is generally more Windows 10 Mobile is generally more responsive than Windows Phone 8.1, even though it's a pre-release version. Windows 10 Mobile also comes with a action center. Now this action center is pretty much similar to the action center on a desktop version of Windows, somewhat like this. To reveal the action center on your Windows 10 mobile, you swipe in from top to bottom and you can see your different quick settings here and you'll get your notifications here. There's a direct link to the settings and yeah, and now there's an inbuilt flash which is a nice addition on the uh, quick settings. We just took a look at the quick settings, now let's head over to the all settings, swipe in from top to bottom, tap on all settings, and now you can see rather than all of the settings being laid out on a single page, uh, now Microsoft has grouped it up under system, devices, network and wireless, personalization accounts, time and language, ease of access, privacy, update and security, and some extras. So let's head over to personalization, and let's try changing a color. Uh, let's make it blue so you can see the color has changed and let's have it head over to personalization and start and yeah like I said you can change the uh, try a tile transparency let's see how it looks now yeah it looks a bit more colorful let's head back change the color again let's select a different color, let's select green let's see how it looks yeah it looks good and yeah accordingly the start color will also change so if I change the tile transparency again the tiles will look green now let's make it 100% check how it looks, looks now oh boy not good so like I said Windows uh, 10 mobile is so much more customizable compared to its counterpart the Windows phone um, 8.1. Coming to new apps, Microsoft has finally replaced the boring Xbox music with Groove Music, the same application which is on Windows 10 PC. It's just more, much more easier to use and visually more pleasing than Xbox Music.
Probably the most exciting new addition uh, to Windows 10 Mobile is the Microsoft Edge web browser. Let me just uh, give you a little demo of it. Introducing Microsoft Edge, the brand new browser for doing. Let's just close this. And head over to Steam Community website. And yeah, you could see this is a pretty image intensive page and this web browser has absolutely no problems rendering it. Oh, I think it's stuck. And the web browser crashed. But that's okay because this is still a pre-release software. Uh, bugs are bound to happen. So, let's launch it again. So yeah, there is something wrong with it and probably just a bug. Doesn't matter. So I've relaunched the browser here. So that's Microsoft Edge guys, pretty good and yeah I really like it because it's pretty fast and fluid. Let me just close that. So other new applications include a brand new movies and TV application uh, which currently does not work because it's not able to find any of my videos even though it just uh, stays weird looking, it just says weird looking for your videos but nothing really shows up even though there are videos on this phone and a new photos application yeah it's been redesigned since the last one and again it's not really that responsive so and yeah pinch to zoom doesn't really work that perfectly And you can also print the photo. Let's see if it's able to search the printer. Oh yeah, it can see my printer HP Office Jet Pro 8100. So here's my printer here. But I'm not gonna print it. Just cancel. And another new app is the File Explorer. And yeah, the micro SD card is being treated as removable disk. And lastly, the Xbox app. Oh yeah, it's working now. Don't have any games installed.
Alright guys, for the conclusion, uh, if you want to upgrade, you can try it out yourself, but I must tell you that the mobile hotspot feature does not work in this latest build of Windows. So do keep in mind, and yeah, again, it's a pre-release software and you might run into troubles. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this video, and if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me that, and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. So. See you all later.